The model that has been evolving to understand this integrated connection um, by which the microbes talk to our gut, talk to our brain, and the brain talks back um, to the gut and its microbes. Um, in health, it's a, probably a very important system to maintain and guarantee the balance uh, the homeostasis of our um, body, of, of our health. What appears to be happening is kind of a unifying model to understand um, several chronic uh, clinical disorders is that the balance gets altered and the whole system is changed. The basic underlying mechanism for that could be explained as follows. Somebody who has genetic predispositions, has early adverse life events that play a role in the epigenetics of the vulnerability genes and who has an underlying hyper-responsive stress system, um, such a person will probably over lifetime send excessive signals to the gut through the stress system, the um, sympathetic nervous system, and creates a different environment for the microbes living in this environment. The microbes in turn will produce different substances, molecules, that feed back to the brain and either reinforce, um, for example, the increased stress responsiveness or uh, induces other, um, influences other brain systems, such as the reward system that makes us do things or the salient system that um, makes certain things particularly relevant. And then it creates this feedback loop that is um, a, uh, brings the brain gut axis into a new state of um, uh, stability a stability that means a chronic illness or a chronic disorder. So that model clearly can be applied to explain some forms of chronic depression. It can also be applied, for example, to understand um, um, the mechanisms underlying functional gastrointestinal disorders or irritable bowel syndrome. Um, and also can be applied to understanding um, altered ingestive behavior, so-called food addiction, is a major factor in uh, obesity. So in a vulnerable individual, <clears throat> the access to cheap, ubiquitous, abundance, high fat, high sugary foods will change the microbes. The microbes produce signals that feed back into the reward system in the brain that regulates our craving for food. And um, that will lead us to ingest more of the unhealthy food and again, reinforces this vicious cycle. So what happens in Parkinson's disease, probably some imbalance in or dysbiotic state in the gut microbiota um, will lead to an increased gut permeability, a leakier gut. Some metabolites or some um, organisms, could be viruses, could be other microorganisms, have access to the little brain in the gut, the enteric nervous system. And we know that some of the earliest changes in Parkinson's disease actually happen in the gut, in this, in this uh, enteric nervous system circuits. That will slow down the peristalsis, um, leads to a situation called slow transit constipation. The whole environment for the microbes is further altered. And even then the medications that people would get, like dopamine agonists for treating the Parkinson's disease, will further slow down the gut, um, probably exacerbating these negative interactions between the altered dys dysbiotic state in the gut and, um, and the nervous system. And ultimately, these alterations that started in the enteric nervous system of the gut migrate up through the vagus nerve into the brainstem, um, the sensory nucleus of the vagus nerve, and then higher up into the dopamine regions and even in the uh, cognitive areas of, of the brain. So it's this unifying hypothesis that um, has this one of its core alterations, the, the permeability or the leakiness of the gut. The other key component is that whatever goes on in the brain um, also has a reflection in the gut and its microbes and, and, and vice versa. So if this model is correct and is confirmed in future experiments, it's quite plausible that similar treatment strategies or analogous treatment strategies could be used for, um, for very different uh, disorders, um, which all share this similarity or this underlying um, 
uh, abnormality of an altered brain-gut microbiome axis.